So, what are the advantages and disadvantages of each? How do they affect how your wheels feel? And why do we choose one over the other? I'm Tristan, the founder of Wheelworks, and this is hopefully everything you need to know about straight pull versus J-Bend spokes. Straight pull spokes only work with straight pull hubs, and J-Bend spokes only work with J-Bend hubs. This is a J-Bend spoke. It gets inserted through the hub flange like this, and then once all its buddies are laced, it can be tensioned and trued. This is one of the oldest ways of making spokes, and amazingly, it stood the test of time, and even today, is arguably the best type of spoke to use for high performance bike wheels. This is a straight pull spoke. As you can see, the head doesn't have that bend in it, and you might have heard this makes them stronger and therefore better, but that's not necessarily true. Now, there are other ways of attaching spokes, using nipples at the hub, using double threaded spokes, and using T-head spokes, which look a lot like straight pull, but aren't. These are pretty fringe, so we're gonna ignore them for this video. Pros and cons. Let's understand the pros and cons of each type of spoke. Which is stronger? Both straight pull and J-Bend spokes can be built into a strong, durable wheel, and you can build a crappy wheel with both types of spoke. This comes down to the wheel builder's skill and the quality of the spokes used. But in terms of strength, straight pull or J-Bend, this one is a tie. Which is stiffer. Stiffness and strength often get confused. Strength is how durable a wheel is and how it will shrug off impact damage. Stiffness is, well, how stiff the wheel is. And since there isn't any appreciable amount of vertical movement in a wheel, we're talking about lateral, side to side stiffness. Wheel stiffness is important because if your wheels aren't stiff enough, they will feel mushy and vague to ride. They won't hold their line, especially in a hard corner or over rough terrain. One of the main reasons mountain bikes have moved to boost and super boost hubs is to increase lateral wheel stiffness. The myth that straight pull spokes build stiffer wheels is completely false. The bend in a J-Bend spoke isn't flexing as you ride, and both types of spoke will only stretch and contract due to their material and cross-section in accordance to Young's modulus. The type of head makes zero difference. What does make a difference in wheel stiffness is the spoke's bracing angle. This CAD model shows our straight pull dial hub, and we can draw the triangle made by the spokes. If I overlay the J-Bend version of the same hub, you'll see that the spoke triangle is much wider. This is partly because the J-Bend flanges are thinner and partly because we're able to make them a larger diameter without a massive increase in weight. Wide triangles are better, so in terms of wheel stiffness, this is a definite win for J-Bend. Weight. But the smaller diameter flanges used on straight pull hubs tend to be between five and 20 grams lighter, so the weight advantage goes to straight pull. Comfort. Wheel comfort is a tricky subject and we could easily devote a whole video to it, but there is no significant amount of vertical movement in a bike wheel. And therefore, with all things being equal, both J-Bend and straight pull spokes have the same level of wheel comfort. Ease of replacement. First up, unless you jam a stick or derailleur into your wheel, spokes should not break. It's a sign of a poor quality wheel. We've got a whole upcoming video on why spokes break, so make sure you subscribe for that. J-Bend spokes tend to be way easier to find. For some of the high-end spokes we use, like the DT Swiss Aerolite, you might not be able to find an exact replacement in a remote bike shop, but a broken Aerolite can be replaced with any old spoke of close enough length to get you back riding. If you manage to break a spoke on the trail, and you happen to have a spare spoke of the correct length with you, then replacing a straight pull spoke with the cassette and disc brake rotor fitted is going to be easier. So, for on the trail replacements, if you've got the right length spoke, straight pull wins. But otherwise, J-Bend takes this point. Variety and interchangeability. Straight pull spokes aren't able to pivot in the same way as J-Bend spokes. So straight pull hubs can only be used with one lacing pattern, and even then, you've got a really limited range of rim diameters before you run into real problems. As a custom wheel builder, we tend to gravitate towards J-Bend hubs because they're available from a wider range of companies and because they give us more choice when lacing them up. This is a clear advantage and one of the big reasons we choose to use J-Bend hubs. Tension and wheel building. 
With nothing to stop the spoke head from rotating inside the flange, straight ball spokes can be a real nightmare to tension and true. J-Bend spokes do still wind up while building, but for wheel builders like us, where each wheel uses different components and no two wheels are the same, J-Bend are easier for us to lace, tension, and true. Which brings us to the main reason you see straight pull spokes. If you're building a lot of the same type of wheel on a production line, then straight pull spokes will save you a lot of time during the lacing phase. Of course, time is money. So I'm going out on a limb to say that this cost saving is the primary reason why straight pull spokes exist and why they're used on so many factory and original equipment wheels. Make the hubs look badass and you've got the double bonus of being both cheaper to build and more marketable. At Wheelworks, we use both straight pull and J-Bend spokes, depending on the customer, their needs and the wheel. Generally speaking though, if we've got the option of J-Bend or straight pull, we think the improved lateral stiffness, the increased ability to mix and match, and the long-term availability to find replacement spokes and service your wheels means we choose J-Bend. If there's anything I didn't cover, please ask away in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe for our upcoming video on why spokes break.